the single best thing you can do to help resolve your own panic attack is to realize, hey, this is a panic attack. And what that does is it kind of makes the panic attack something that's just a little bit over here. It's not I'm dying or something awful is going to happen to me. It's I'm having a panic attack. Once you make that separation, you kind of have a choice. You can work yourself up or you can work yourself down. And what we want to do is work ourselves down. And how do we do that? We start with our breath, yeah? So when we're having a panic attack, everything's up here and everything's in your head and it's loud and noisy and quick. We want to slow it all down. So that's when we start to breathe very deeply through our nose. We take a big breath, you know, hold it in for just a second and exhale it. And you want to make sure that breath is coming from your belly. And there's a really interesting physical thing that happens here because when we start to panic and we breathe shallowly, it means we're not getting enough oxygen into our blood. So that actually chemically makes us more anxious. So we want to just, it's like, um, we want to medicate ourselves with oxygen and slow everything down. And then you look around you and you say, okay, here I am, I'm having a panic attack, but I'm bringing it down. Here I am on the bus or out on the street. You feel your feet on the ground. Maybe you tap your feet on the ground to ground yourself. You listen to your breathing and you say, here I am right now, nothing terrible is happening. And you can kind of see the anxiety dropping and dropping and dropping. It's really a matter of calming yourself down, calming those voices in your mind that wanna make you more anxious and say, do you know what? I'm not having this. I'm just sitting here, nothing's happening. I'm not gonna die, I'm not gonna faint and I'm breathing very slowly. And you will notice that usually within a matter of three to seven minutes even, it can come down. And during that three to seven minutes, you can actually cope with those feelings more than you think you can. It's just feeling really uncomfortable. So you say, okay, I'm uncomfortable now. In three minutes, I'm gonna be feeling better. And in 10 minutes, it's gonna be like, this never happened.